The James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's new sky observer and has captured impressive images of stars, galaxies, and planets. But now, something unexpected has been discovered. Something so massive it could shake the foundations of everything we know, leaving scientists in shock and questioning if their discovery could lead to the end of times. Stay tuned as we unveil how the latest discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope could destroy the universe. But before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The Mysterious Universe Beyond Our Reach Although the size and shape of the entire universe remain a mystery, scientists estimate that the diameter of the observable universe, the part we can observe and study, is about 93 billion light years. Let's understand this. A light year measures the distance that light, the fastest thing in the universe, travels in one year. It's about 5.88 trillion miles. So when we talk about the diameter of the observable universe being 93 billion light years, we are talking about an incomprehensible distance, approximately 54.6 sextillion miles. Just try to imagine. But why is the universe so immense? It's all related to its birth. The Big Bang Theory, a widely accepted hypothesis, points to an event 13.8 billion years ago when the universe supposedly emerged in an unimaginably powerful explosion. This explosion initiated what we call cosmic expansion. Since this significant birth, the universe has not only expanded but also accelerated this expansion. As the universe expanded, matter began to cluster due to the influence of gravity. This gravitational force united the particles, giving rise to astounding structures stars, galaxies, and eventually planets like our beloved Earth. Imagine eras passing as these cosmic structures grew, evolving to form the diverse and impressive phenomena we see scattered throughout the universe today. The vastness of the cosmos, shaped by its expansion and the evolution of matter within it, is what gives rise to its extraordinary dimensions. While we look at the observable universe, we are glimpsing only a fraction of this enormous cosmic field. It's a small snippet of the infinite wonders that exist beyond our perception. Time travel through cosmic light. You may be wondering why we can't simply see everything that exists in the universe. There are a few reasons behind this limitation. Firstly, light. The fastest thing in the universe still takes time to travel through space. This means that when we look at distant objects, we are essentially looking into the past. The farther away an object is, the longer its light has traveled to reach us. It's like looking through a time machine, uncovering the history of our universe as we observe galaxies millions or even billions of light years away. But there is another factor at play here. The universe itself is expanding. Imagine dots drawn on an inflating balloon. As the balloon expands, the dots move away from each other. This same principle applies to the universe. Galaxies like these dots are moving away as the structure of space stretches. This expansion causes the light emitted by distant objects to undergo a transformation known as redshift. Basically, the wavelengths of light become more stretched as objects move away, shifting to longer wavelengths, often perceived as a reddish hue. Eventually, some celestial bodies move beyond a critical distance, known as the cosmic horizon, where they are simply too far away for their light to reach us given the expanding nature of the universe. Considering these two main factors, the travel time of light and the expansion of the universe, it is not surprising that we have not yet comprehensively observed the entirety of the cosmos. Even with our most advanced telescopes and technologies, our view remains limited by these fundamental properties of physics, the mystery of the universe's boundaries. The quest to understand the possible end or limit of the universe has captivated the minds of countless individuals in various fields of study. Although definitive answers remain elusive, three main theories have emerged, each offering intriguing perspectives on the vastness of cosmic space. The first theory proposes that the universe expands infinitely, stretching without a determinable endpoint. If this principle holds true, it suggests that the universe has no limit but expands infinitely in all directions. The second theory offers an alternative view, suggesting that while the universe may indeed be finite, it does not have a well-defined boundary. Instead, it is compared to a sphere or a curved space similar to a globe. In this scenario, if someone traveled infinitely in any direction, they would eventually return to their starting point, just as if they circled around the Earth. The third theory, the concept of the multiverse, introduces the intriguing idea that our universe is just one among many others. 
Imagine a multitude of parallel universes, each existing with its own set of laws and physical properties. These universes may be completely disconnected from each other, functioning independently, or they may be interconnected through complex mechanisms, forming a vast intertwined multiverse. However, these theories remain speculative and challenging to define, as observing the limits of the universe presents monumental challenges. The vastness of cosmic space, coupled with the limitations of current observational tools and technologies, are considerable obstacles in attempting to definitively confirm or refute these hypotheses. The Mystery of the Universe's Limits Recently, an innovative study published in the prestigious scientific journal Nature revealed the James Webb discovery of six colossal galaxies dating back between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang. Surprisingly, these ancient galaxies defy expectations, being much larger than expected for their primitive existence. Astronomers initially expected to find small, still-forming galaxies in the telescope's observations. Instead, they were astonished to discover these gigantic cosmic entities, rewriting the narrative of space evolution. What is truly shocking about these discoveries is the maturity of these ancient galaxies. Contrary to what was expected, these celestial giants exhibit a level of development comparable to our galaxy, the Milky Way, which is 13 billion years old. The enormous magnitude of the stars within these giant galaxies contradicts all established scientific models. Each boasts a mass of several billion times that of our Sun. One standout galaxy could potentially have a stellar mass of up to 100 billion times that of our Sun, greatly overshadowing the already colossal scale of our Milky Way, which contains a stellar mass equivalent to approximately 60 billion suns. James Webb's unparalleled ability to perceive hidden regions of the universe is enabled by its use of infrared light, a spectrum invisible to the human eye. This extraordinary power allows the telescope to capture the faint signals of ancient stars and galaxies, revealing cosmic remnants of their existence that have persisted for billions of years. Redefining the history of the cosmos. The recent revelation of colossal galaxies, affectionately nicknamed universe destroyers, has revolutionized our understanding of space. It's akin to rewriting history, an impressive twist that challenges 99% of the models we had created to understand the universe's earliest galaxies. Initially, we thought galaxies formed from humble beginnings, starting as tiny clusters of stars and dust. They were believed to evolve gradually, growing in size and complexity over eons. However, the new discoveries have shattered these theories. When data from the James Webb Space Telescope and its high-resolution images revealed these gigantic galaxies in July 2022, scientists were perplexed. These giants appeared suddenly, almost as if they were waiting to be discovered, confounding our previous understanding of galactic evolution. Delving deeper, scientists employed spectroscopic techniques to examine the light at various wavelengths. This analysis holds the key to uncovering crucial details about these enigmatic galaxies, such as their composition, dimensions, and distance from Earth. The possibility arises that, among these discoveries, besides the galaxies found, there may be hidden supermassive black holes, adding another layer of mystery to this cosmic scenario. Chronicles of Redshift the remarkable discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope have propelled our understanding of the universe to unprecedented levels. This state-of-the-art telescope, operated by an international team of astronomers, recently unveiled a surprising discovery. The identification of the oldest and most distant galaxies ever observed. These galaxies take us back to a time when the universe was a mere fraction of its current age, existing only 400 million years after the Big Bang. What is truly astonishing is that the light emanating from these galaxies began its journey over 13.4 billion years ago, finally reaching our perception through the lenses of James Webb. The initial captures by the telescope align with the first images obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope, revealing a multitude of potential galaxies. But it was through meticulous and detailed spectroscopic analyses that astronomers were able to confirm four of these celestial bodies, allowing for a comprehensive study of their physical characteristics and precise determination of their distances from us. While redshift estimates can be derived from images taken with various filters, spectroscopy emerges as the best method for obtaining exact measurements by breaking down the object's light into all its wavelengths. Let's delve into these extraordinary discoveries by focusing on four galaxies with redshifts greater than 10, indicating an impressive distance from us. To put this in perspective, 
the Hubble Space Telescope had previously identified two of these galaxies, recording redshifts of 10.38 and 11.58. However, James Webb's visual capacity uncovered two even more distant galaxies, with redshifts of 13.2 and 12.63. A redshift of 13.2 essentially indicates a window of time about 13.5 billion years ago, offering a fascinating glimpse into the ancient history of our cosmos. Jades, an unprecedented view of the most distant galaxies. The Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, better known by its acronym JADES, is one of the main studies conducted with James Webb and a demonstration of the telescope's ambitious mission. Bringing together more than 80 astronomers and scientists from 10 different countries, their collective mission is to embark on an extensive exploration of the cosmos' early stages, unraveling mysteries that have endured for ages. The first phase of the JADES program focused on the NIRCAM instrument, dedicating over 10 days of precious mission time to examine a specific section of the sky that notably encompassed the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. For more than 20 years, astronomers have turned their gaze to this particular region, utilizing various large telescopes in an attempt to decipher its enigmas. However, the JADES team, by meticulously studying this field in nine distinct bands of infrared wavelengths, discovered something surprising a collection of nearly 100,000 distant galaxies, each positioned billions of light years away. Then, armed with the NIR spec spectrograph, scientists embarked on a targeted three-day observation period, capturing the faint light emitted by 250 galaxies. This strategic move allowed a deeper dive into the essence of these galaxies, revealing the complex details of the gases and stars they possessed. Furthermore, these observations enabled the acquisition of precise redshift values, critical information instrumental in understanding the position of these galaxies in the vast cosmic landscape. These measurements serve as keys to unlocking vital information about these distant galaxies. They provide insights into the inherent luminosity of the galaxies and offer estimates about the number of stars within them. Such revelations pave the way for a comprehensive investigation into the evolution of galaxies through cosmic timelines, even as the circumstances of their early stages remain unknown. James Webb's Exploration of Supermassive Black Holes Examining the subtlest signals of these distant stars, scientists gain insights into their atmospheres and potential habitability. The telescope's keen eye extends hundreds of light years, revealing the chemical compositions of planets hiding in the vastness of the universe. But perhaps the most inspiring and notable discovery of James Webb is the potential sighting of the oldest black hole in the cosmos, an ancient giant housed by a nearby galaxy formed only 570 million years after the Big Bang. This Titan, boasting a mass much greater than millions of suns, represents a relic from the universe's infancy. Furthermore, Webb's expedition into the depths of space illuminated the enigmatic phenomenon known as active galactic nuclei. With supermassive black holes at the cores of these galaxies, they are colossal entities, billions of times more massive than our sun radiating a brilliance that outshines the brightest stars. Their bright appearance, visible across vast distances, serves as a cosmic beacon, guiding astronomers back in time to witness the primordial eruptions of the universe. Detecting faint signals from early black holes. When these instruments detect these celestial giants, the telescope's spectrographs spring into action, splitting the light emitted by surrounding material into different frequencies. This spectral analysis allows scientists to decipher and understand the information contained within the different frequencies. The sudden appearance of black holes in the early universe remains a fascinating mystery. Scientists strive to discover much younger primordial black holes, speculated to have originated immediately after the colossal event of the Big Bang, or possibly even before it. The scientific community contemplates two main theories about the prevalence of black holes in the current universe. One hypothesis suggests that these cosmic anomalies are remnants of massive stars that underwent a rapid and intense formation process, different from the stars observed in today's universe. Another proposal suggests that dense clouds of gas underwent abrupt collapses, leading to the formation of these enigmatic singularities in the fabric of space-time. A more plausible scenario is based on Population 3 stars, a theoretical group of stars that would have emerged about 200 million years after the Big Bang. Made predominantly of hydrogen and helium, these ancient celestial bodies would eventually have exploded, leaving behind the core or remnants that evolved to form black holes. 
Subsequently, these black holes may have grown in size by intensely accumulating surrounding matter at a rate that surpasses stability. James Webb's encounter with remote exoplanets. In the 90s, astronomers made a crucial breakthrough in space exploration, largely attributed to the revolutionary technology of the Hubble Space Telescope. This moment marked an era of groundbreaking discoveries of exoplanets, revealing worlds beyond our solar system. Since then, our awareness has expanded to recognize over 3,000 extrasolar planets. But despite this large number, only a dozen have been captured through direct photographs due to their extraordinary distance from Earth. How we detect these distant exoplanets primarily depends on their transit, a phenomenon where they pass between their host stars and us, causing a subtle dimming of the star's light. However, the arrival of James Webb changed this paradigm. Equipped with advanced coronagraphs, cameras and filters, James Webb allows scientists to directly observe these distant worlds, transcending the limitations of previous technologies. HIP 65426b, one of the exoplanets observed by James Webb, stands out for its extraordinary characteristics, particularly its positioning 100 times farther from its star than Earth is from the Sun. To understand this difference, consider that Pluto, in our solar system, is only 40 times farther from the Sun than Earth. Now imagine HIP 65426b, an immense gas giant much larger than Jupiter, approximately 12 times its size. Despite the fleeting nature of the ghost galaxy in the night sky, James Webb's infrared camera captured its glow with clarity. Well, that's all for today. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, comment your opinions on the subject. We would love to hear them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.